uh, with a random run that is not greed mode. So welcome back YouTube people. <laughs> um, this is weird. Just concatenating runs and talking to people who aren't even watching yet. Uh, what do we run? We uh, It's a Samson run. So Samson... Mm, we don't want to take deals with the devil. That's pretty nice though. A look up from the beginning. Uh, we don't want to take deals with the devil because we really want to try and get Crown of Light which only come from Angel deals which is slightly frustrating because um, you're not even guaranteed to get the Angel rooms if you deny the deals with the devil but at the same time having red HP as Samson is really really useful provided you can get uh, a way of injuring yourself basically because you can get a great amount of benefit out of taking damage. So with Samson you start with bloody lust which means that as you Take damage, your own damage goes up until you get to the next floor. So if you have a way of doing that on purpose, and a way of sort of protecting yourself from the obvious consequences of that, which means that, you, which is that you're going to run out of HP, um, then you basically won. But the more red HP you have, the more the more you have that option to take that damage. Because you don't want to take... You don't use spirit hearts basically to do that damage because those are keeping you alive when you haven't got any red HP. So it's a balancing act. We have found a boss. We've got one coin. I would like to find the item room first, which is no doubt going to have been the correct thing to have done. No doubt the correct thing to have done would have been to just go straight down from the uh, spawn room. But that's okay. This thing has helpfully exploded a tinter drop for me, which I will not take because I'm bad at the game. So, ooh, this is what we want. So another way of getting spirit hearts would also be great. But what I'm going to do... That's also pretty nice. And one of these is a library. Kane's other eye is shit. Thank you for playing. So we play this until we don't quite die. Hopefully we find some red HP from somewhere. I think this one's a library or this one's a shop? This one's a library. Oh, interesting. We want the top left book there. So... I would like to find some HP so that I can walk on the spikes and, and get it. Um, if this boss pays out with HP, I will spend the Spirit Heart to get the Book of Shadows. But... I might do that anyway, actually. Um, I wanted to take the Spirit Heart up front just in case this boss hits us. And we put ourselves in a horrible situation and die to a little horn, which would be embarrassing. You can see how big our tears are now just from taking two, two hearts of damage from the Blood Bank. Which could have paid out with something as well. It did pay out with some money. Uh, we did get HP. And red HP too. So I can play this Blood Bank a little bit more. And I can also play the Blood Bank using this book. Which is why I'm taking it. There we go. So we'll play it twice. Like this. We're not guaranteed to get an arcade on the next floor. So I'm going to keep playing this one. Because this one is here. We're not taking damage here, but we don't need any more damage bonuses for ourselves. I didn't pay out, which is a little bit saddening, but we got plenty of money. At least we got ourselves a, a, a benefit from this floor. And what I'm trying to do with that blood bank is get the IV bag, which will allow me to just use... It's, it's a portable blood bank, which means I can take that damage whenever I want, even if there isn't an arcade on the floor in question. So, there is one here, so I'm going to spend one HP doing that. Uh, and do these rooms here <clears throat> with... Oh, well, this one hasn't got any combat in it, so... You fucker. Son of a bitch shot me. See that? Not happy. Uh, we want to get this book recharged so that we can play that blood bank a little bit more. Get some money out of it. Maybe we spend some money to try and get a key? Let's go to the shop and, of course, the item room. Because uh, there was a, a gambling machine in there, too could give us a key. There's a cursed room, which does do damage, and it is constructive damage, but we have so little HP right now, that I'm a little bit wary of spending it on that just now. Uh, I will do it at the end of the floor, depending on how, how well we look. We have got a key, so I will take that to the, sh to the item room. going to be a little bit min-maxi, but I'm not really up for... Jen said yay. She's got blood on her hands. Oh, it's cherry blood. It's okay. Um, be a little bit min maxi, but I'm not worried about boss rush. Yeah. Technology early is pretty okay. Um, 
mostly I'm worried about getting the crown of light. So I want to get angel runes, which means I want to give myself the biggest advantage I can of A, not dying, and B, you know, getting through the runes nice and quick. A dime, that really helps actually. That's a lot of money from one uh, blood bank right now. Still no payout though. I want to make sure I don't accidentally uh, hurt myself when the the invincibility runs out, which is why I bailed a little bit earlier. there. Pop the poop. Thank you. So I'm hoping that we can get another invincibility play. Uh, I'm going to min-max that, which I already said, but, you know, um, that allows us to, ah, fuck, have a slightly better advantage. Trying to get angel rooms, because angel rooms <clears throat> tend to not have such a good advantage as devil rooms. Like, the, the items suck, basically, by and large. I mean, the worst thing that happens here is we get blood bank. Well, the worst thing that happens here is we get nothing at all, but we get a lot of plays out of this, so it's pretty good. I should have done one more room and then picked up that battery charge. That was slight misplay, but it's not the end of the world, to be honest. We'll put some money in these. Oh, so HP is actually decent. Provided it pays out with it. Uh, because angel rooms don't tend to give you such a great advantage as do uh, devil rooms, and we're not going to play the devil rooms, then... Ooh, that's a lot of HP. I'm happy with that. Then, um, yeah, we want to get the IV bag or some sort of similar advantage to accommodate the fact that we're not getting stuff out of the devil. Because all the items that we're going to be missing out on are brilliant. <laughs> Basically, there's, there's very few shit devil items and there's very few decent angel items, which is a balance of power that I'm not, wow, okay, I'm not too happy with. So I like taking technology early because of the infinite range. And I don't think it actually is a damage downgrade on, like, Technology 2. Again, I probably... I'm going to fight the boss first. Go into our Devil Room, ignore it. Maybe it's Krampus, that would be pretty nice. If we could take Lump of Coal early on. It would give us a lot of advantages. Another Spirit Heart also helps. Uh, <clears throat> now, usually the rule for deals with the Devil is that if you take Red Heart damage, you you have a much lower chance of getting that door open, but the uh, blood bank doesn't count as red heart damage in that situation. We'll take this, we'll take this. We're not going to take whatever's in here, even though I really, really want both of them. Uh, and now that we have 4 HP, we can go and really play the shit out of this blood bank. Please give me something. If nothing else, blood bag is pretty good, because it gives us a speed upgrade as well as um, as well as an HP upgrade. At this point, we'd probably go to the curse room, because the curse room is a good source of items which you would otherwise get from the devil. Help. <laughs> Bad. Could have used invincibility to do that, but I'd rather use the invincibility to try and get this to fucking pay out for once in its goddamn life. Yeah, I'll take this. This uh, just causes more red HP to spawn, I think, and I don't have a trinket, so why not? Oh, blood bank. Blood bank. Good. Well... <clears throat> Obviously, we'd preferred the IV bag, but I've got enough money to go into the shop, but I'm not going to do it. Slightly faster, feels nice. We could play the machine, try and get some consumables, but I'm just going to leave. We're already at seven minutes. Uh, and we get a charge straight away on our book of shadows, so that's going to help us out with at least one room. Because the labyrinth uh, is in. Well, <laughs> took damage there. It's interesting. Because it means we, we don't get the... So, the mechanic for the devil rooms, or the angel rooms, is that you have a lower chance on the next floor of opening the door if you open the door on the previous floor. And if you didn't, then that chance starts going back up again per floor until it gets 100% again. So currently I think we're at 25% chance of even getting any door in the first place. And I'm not sure what the chance is of it being an angel room. But since this is an XL floor, it means that we've got two floors at once, which doesn't burn off two floors worth of penalty. So on the next floor, we're basically going to be a floor behind on that, which means we're going to get even fewer angel rooms than we normally would. Ooh, careful. So I'm starting to feel the burn a little bit of not having the damage upgrade that we had from the previous um, floor. And I'm also starting to feel the burn of not being able to shoot at an angle. Ah... But, I mean, I'm bad at this game, so it won't be long before I'm 
OP again. Because I'm going to take so much damage. So much sandwich. I'm going to use this here because we had a battery charge and this room is boring. There we go. Yoink. I mean, it's Book of Shadow plays though. There's a lot of interesting ways of using the Book of Shadows. Help. Help! <laughs> that guy went completely the wrong way and honestly I want to speak to its manager. That is not how that room goes. And I'm pretty sure it knows it. Mom's Wig is great. People say it's okay? It's not okay, it's good. Because you don't have to be hitting enemies, it just spawns spiders as long as you're shooting. Which is when I make this really irritating noise over and over again. Pow, pow, pow. Going pretty fast. We found the item room. We could look for the shop. Oh, there's two item rooms, of course. But we still should probably look for the shop with this amount of money. We have got three keys, so that's enough. For the other item room and the shop. And Go Ahead guarantees us the door. It doesn't guarantee us that the door will be a devil or angel. But it guarantees us the door. Which is great. On every single floor, we will have the door open. Now, when you take a deal that costs red hearts, you are guaranteed to get nothing but devil deals from then on. But if you don't, you have a chance of getting angel deals from then on. But there is no way of guaranteeing an angel deal. And I don't know if the goat head increases your chance of getting a devil deal. Didn't seem to. We've got a HP upgrade. Is that a normal bomb? It is a normal bomb. Uh, that's Celtic Cross, not what we wanted. We don't have a reroll, which is unfortunate. Do you know what? Let's fight the angel. Let's use the Book of uh, Book of Shadows to do so. I wouldn't mind an orbital with the Book of Shadows, because we can do a lot of damage with that by just being invincible and walking into an enemy with our uh, orbital there. Our orbital? What sort of part of America are you from? Ow, okay, good. I can avoid most of these shots, but not these ones where I'm in exactly the wrong place. Excuse me? That was behind me? I, I am. I'm out. This game is just taking the piss. Alright, well, we got. I'll just leave. We've got Celtic Cross. I think that gives you an invincibility when you get hit sometimes. It's not that great. Certainly not what we came for. But. We have an opportunity. Oh, I didn't go to the other item room. You fucking dick. Dumbass. That's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but I'm not going to beat myself up about it. We're pretty strong. We've got invincibility every three rooms if we need it. I'm stuck. Whoa! That was luck. It's the game giveth and the game taketh away. It's just the way it is. Let's use a key to open these. These could be valuable for us. We did get a bit of cash out of it. 62 cents, I mean, one cent in all of that ain't really, uh, ain't really adding too much. If you walk straight into this thing, you don't have to try and figure out how. Ooh, that's nice. I like, um, <clears throat> I like speedball when I'm slow. Which is always. And there is a random blood bank, which is also nice. I mean, we're doing well enough right now. There's our Celtic Cross invincibility, by the way. I think we're doing well enough right now that I don't actually need IV back. I mean, sometimes you end up on the, on the floor and you're going, you know, where's my damage? Because you were riding the damage from the previous floor, but for now I think we're okay. We might consider trying to get something out of that one if... We don't really get many advantages out of this floor, and if the Curse of the Maze can stop sending me all, every which way and just let me go where I'm trying to fucking go, please. Thank you. Uh, that would be splendendous. I was going to say we squandered our deal with the Devil Chance, or the Angel, but of course we have the Goat Head, so we can basically take as much damage as we want to without worrying about it too much. Uh, until we die. Taking damage without worrying about it only counts until you take so much damage that you die. I'm just going to Yaro this and get an HP upgrade because I'm lazy. I don't want to come back and get this Eternal Heart. I don't want to try and protect it from now until Kingdom Come. I just want to... I just want to play the game. So. We can use as much Red Heart damage as we like. And I do like the Pact. This is a damage upgrade. But it should increase our rate of fire fairly well. Yeah. And of course, with the uh, bonus that we currently got from taking all this dumb ass damage, and I would add some intentional, sensible damage. 
but we're going to be levering these rooms temporarily. But I would expect the next floor to be somewhat more difficult. I think that's one. So we, we got a speed bonus from the XL floor, because we're in two floors at once sort of thing. But I did forget one of the item rooms, which is quite silly. You probably shouldn't do things like that. I'm taking pills because I don't know what's good for me. Uh, Guppy's head is possibly worth sticking with. E. coli is not really worth picking up, but I did. it doesn't hurt us to do so. But I don't know, actually. E. coli with Book of, Book of Shadows is probably quite good. Um, I think we don't want the candle, though. I'm tempted to take Guppy's head, basically, because of the constant stream of flies that we'll get from it. At least a consistent, if not constant. So we use this. We shoot this. We turn all the poops into harmless poops. Yeah, with a, with invisibility, any touch damage that you have is immediately way better. Again, this is acceptable, but not what we want. <laughs> Motherfucker. I'm also blowing up these purple fires to get spirit hearts out of them, but also so they don't shoot me. I don't like it when they shoot me. What, what do you do with Guardian Spear? We can now fight Megasane. That's a spirit heart. And a shitty trinket. I think we just leave. Um, I don't know how to get out of this bloody run anymore. At least we're getting angel rooms, but they're not giving us what we're here for. There's no way I'm getting into that room. Because we go up here. We're on time for Bosphorus, which is extraordinary. And we're weak again because we haven't taken any... Now we're taking damage. Random shots are my bane. Uh, we haven't taken any damage from e.g. a blood bank. Well, there could be one on this floor. We don't know. So until we do that, which is why we want IV bags, so we can just damage ourselves at the start of the floor and have done with it, um, we are at the mercy of our, our fairly poor damage. We have had a damage upgrade, maybe two. But it's not really bringing home the bacon. Or any other product. Pork, beef, or even, you know, corn. You know, it's not bringing home the corn, bacon, you know, meat alternative. I was told that you can actually make that stuff not shit. Basically, you have to deep fry it. I don't want invincibility. I want to take damage. I do back there. So we should be strong after this particular play, which is what I'm gunning for. I'm a little bit bored. <laughs> Stop. Uh, I don't need the money, so I'm not going to use... No, uh, fine. There's a battery charge, so I'm going to do it. Right, that would be the correct thing to do, and then you take the battery charge and go, but... I did that for its own sake. Like, for completeness' sake. I'm... That's not how you get 1,001%, but it certainly feels like it should be. Yeah, we'll go in here. We'll go in for free and see what we get. We come out, we lose half of the heart that we just picked up, but whatever. Slightly stronger for it. So now we're doing a great amount of damage. So it was correct to have done that. I still would like the IV bag so we can control when we take that damage. And we can take that damage on other floors when it's not as likely. Open this. Just more stuff. I'd like to find the shop and the item room before we go and try that mom fight. Because we can't get out of the mom fight. I'm going to keep doing this. And now is a good time to give me Celtic Cross Invincibility. Now is the... Now is, well, we've got the virus, which is a second touch type damage, so that's pretty good. Hi, Greed. Don't really ask you here, but okay. I would still like to get some base damage upgrades, because having only a damage upgrade from taking damage is not sustainable, you can probably imagine. Restock. We could buy restock. And then just keep buying this item. Until it turns into something we want. Like Jar of Flies. That's really good. Yeah, I think I'll take Jar of Flies. Um, having the Celtic Cross Invincibility, I'm starting to feel like maybe the Invincibility from Book of Shadows is worn out as welcome. We've already found the item we need, dickhead. I knew that. Uh, slightly worn out as welcome. It is kind of valuable, don't get me wrong. It's useful in many situations, but I didn't find a teleport card, so Bosphorus is going to have to be super good to be worth my time. 
But, I mean, we're strong enough to do bus rush because we still have the damage bonus from this floor. Another angel room is fine with me. It's not Crown of Light and we're already fighting the fucking statue. Bullshit. Leave me alone. Must be something to do with this small room? I've never seen that before. Oh well. Sense is okay, but it's not what we wanted. Uh, what's in here? Ludo. Ludo's good. Sad Bombs is good. Hot Bombs is good. Don't hit that. And an HP upgrade. Yeah, let's do it. We haven't done Bus Rush properly for a while, and Ludo with tech is just set it and forget it. It's lovely. Let right, me put this here. Lol, everything's dead. It's slow though, we really want a tears upgrade. So this is something you don't realise when you've got um, tech itself, is that your tears are shit. <laughs> like, there's a bunch of flies for us. So now Ludo is a great item, except the fact that we can't really control it very quickly. We have to get it in position sort of up front. That's pretty nice though. Hopefully, I'm hoping this is a quick boss rush. We're getting plenty of flies from somewhere. Good, he could certainly help our fly economy out quite considerably. By spawning a shitload of enemies that we have to deal with. Ten there. I haven't got... I can't control my tier for something. What's going on? Don't know. Uh, it's sluggish. It's worse than when you take too many speed downgrades as Maggie. Also, I <laughs> I can get my tears so far off the screen that I literally can't tell whether I need to do anything to... Oh, I'm stuck on a rock. Why couldn't you hit you? Uh, on the shelves? A baking tin. I might have to use the oval one. It's glass. We'll be on the shelf. Hmm. So we're suffering from a, a dart of kitchen equipment here in uh, here in Rugby Land. You found it? I should remember to use these when I've got all my flies ready. Where's my uh, where's my baddie at? There you are. I mean, everything's dying super fast. We could use the strength card to get through even faster, but kind of want to use the strength card when we have failed to really get any benefit out of being Samson. Uh, and thus getting a bonus from taking damage on a future floor, i.e. when we start a floor and we have no idea how to deal with this. I mean, everything's dying so fast right now, there's no point using the strength card. Haunt is D-E-A-E -E dead. D-E-A-F. Help. Ten is Trawling in the kitchen, looking for said uh, pastry dish. It's not in the fridge, is it? It's not got something in it. Should have bought one from Tesco. At least then you'd know where it was. Why is my... Ah, your tear stops whilst you're using the item, because you also normally can't shoot while you're using the item. Also, don't just step on spikes at random. Probably isn't helping. Maybe we're going to have two small pies. But we're making a small pie anyway. Yeah, not small <laughs> we did pick up lusty blood, so we only have bloody lust and lusty blood. I would have liked to have teleported out of that, but that's okay. Um, yeah. Lusty blood will increase our damage on a room. Bloody lust will increase our damage on the floor. Huh? I am hungry. Yeah, I do make food. You're cooking. Mm. Food time. It's a problem. Why am I going to these dead end rooms that obviously have nothing in them? Question marks. Paralysis. paralysis. Oh, good time to find out that you've got a paralysis pill. Uh, it's also not a good idea to explode those little polyp things because they can do some damage. I think we do this. We take the damage. We hope for it. Yep. The Celtic Cross invincibility there. And we get contract from below, which is okay. At this stage, it's really only going to be valuable on the chest when we're going to get two chests every time a chest pays out. Oh, just like that. Guppy? No. Probably not the Guppy that I was thinking of. 
It's not the guppy we knew. It's not the guppy America needs. Once. It's not guppy. I'm gonna get two of everything, which most things we don't really want right now. Take an HP upgrade, sure. I don't know. At this point, I'm beyond caring. Just give me, give me loot. I don't care what it is. I just want to feel strong again. I just want to feel something. Uh, where is my bad guy? There you are. And we'll go in here, which will cost us uh, a reasonable amount of HP, which is not necessarily a great idea, but there's our guppy item, so we did get something. Not actually guppy, but that's two of three? Did we get... Yeah, we got guppy's head, so we got guppy's head and guppy's collar. Guppy's collar could bring us back if we completely capitulate on this run. Uh, but I'm hoping not to, because we're very powerful. We have taken some constructive damage on this, uh, this floor. Which means we are slightly stronger than we otherwise could be. And it is, as far as I'm concerned, impossible to dodge that shit. So I don't have to try. Those do nothing for us right now. Alas, alack. But the Utero 1 fight is Loki. Loki ye. Two Lokis. Uh, yeah. I mean, that was guaranteed. It is Krampus, so we still haven't actually got ourselves out of the Angel thing. But there's one more deal. One more door in the whole game. Which is the next floor. And if that's not an angel room containing Crown of Light, I, I've i done my best. <laughs> you know? This is it. How can we go down? When asked. And you don't complain, you just do your duty. You know, it's a, it's a reciprocal thing. I don't want to... I want to say, look, I was joking. I want people to say, what do you mean, like, oral sex is your duty? You don't have to please people in a way that you are not yourself comfortable with pleasing people. You know, you talk about it, you you try it, you see if you can come to some sort of compromise or agreement. I, I wouldn't write it down, like, as a contract, though, that's a little bit, you know, there's got to be some trust in a relationship, and if you can't trust each other to, you know, <laughs> do what each other has asked in a in a bedroom context, then maybe that's not the bedroom context you should be in. Let's use these. Yeah, when my um, flies start going, I can't use my tear. I'm not even going to look for a secret room. We're just going to put this here and hope for the best. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Good. So this will go down nice and quick, but not, not as nice and quick as I'd like. The sensor basically slows down everything inside it, which is great, because you can just stand there. Is another deal with the devil. Maybe we take something. It's a guppy item, and there are no more things. So we are now guppy, and we have won the game. I'm not going to do hush. <laughs> no. I hate it. If given the option, not doing hush. It kills me on every bloody daily that I do anyway. Great. Shitload of bombs. So happy to be here. Our damage is good, even without taking constructive damage to improve it. Uh, and of course... All the flies are spawned from doing constant damage with the laser. As Guppy, there's nothing the game can do. It's it's given me this situation, and it is its own fault. Of course, Lusty Blood was improving our damage as we did that room. It's going to become less and less useful, because the more a room has like a few enemies that are quite powerful, rather than uh, multiple enemies that are extremely weak, then the less value Lusty Blood has, because there's only one enemy on the room, you're never going to get an advantage out of it. But, at the same time, we have a shitload of flies, each one of which is doing 1.5 times our tier damage, which is still pretty strong, somehow. Uh, and there's a constant stream of them, and apparently there's no way I can stop them from appearing. It's, just, it's ludicrous. It's, it's unfair. We are now strong, we are OP, we are done. Take pills because I don't know what's good for me. Where is my boss though? Excuse me. This is where the boss fight was promised. Must be over there. What is this card? Got to be better than the magician. The magician's kind of fun actually. We should use it. And honestly, there's no real advantage that we can expect to get on the chest that we don't already have. Um, we can only get more ludicrously powerful, which is why we play the game. Quite agree. We'll do this, uh, and you can just suck everything up. I mean, the Magician would be probably better used on a, a room with multiple enemies, but I don't really care. This fight is over and the tier 
piloted itself. And this is another fast run, actually. The Zezer run was fast, and this is only slightly slower, but you know, it's nice to get out of here. We could find Mega Saiyan. I kind of want to make use of the items that we have acquired for ourselves, but there's no reason not to fight Mega Saiyan on this run. It's basically a guaranteed win. Ah, those are both shit. All the items that we've got are crap. So, let's just end it. Bye, girl. This was a good run. It was a fun run. But unfortunately, it did not achieve the goal, which is to find Crown of Light, which, of course, is the thing that I didn't actually out loud predict, but um, in my head predicted when we started the, the daily run, because the last time we had the same daily run, we ended up picking up Crown of Light. I can't remember where we got it from that time. But, point being, it's not fair. <laughs> I don't want it on a daily run when it doesn't count. It's a challenge run. Your your achievements are irrelevant because everyone's getting the same thing. Ouch. What I want is it to show up on a normal run for the first time in living history. It's so rare, though. Not only does it not show up anywhere other than angel rooms, so that's already very rare. It seems to be rare in Angel Rooms. And honestly, it's not that good. I mean, it's really really good. It's not, it's not you know, equivalently good as its rarity. Its rarity sort of belies how good it is. Well, we're nearly there. Honestly, we just uh, leave this tier here and dodge. There's not going to be any more waves of enemies that we have to deal with. All these fires go blue when they are slow. Kind of ruins the effect that Mega Satan was going for. But we're done with this run. We didn't get what we came for, but at least we tried. Well, thank you for watching YouTube. Thank you for watching Twitch. I'm going to go and eat some food. I'm going to go and sleep and get some work done. That was pretty much the exact amount of time that I wanted it to be as well. So, thank you for watching. Let's not watch that. It's a little bit heart-racingly, inducingly terrifying. And uh, I'll see you next time I stream. Thanks for watching.